Hey, what's good everybody? Happy Tuesday. Is it Black Tuesday? <laughs> Anybody know what that actually is? Are you guys old enough to know what that is? I'm not old enough to know what it is, but I know what it is. And today was not Black Tuesday, although it was a horrible, horrible day for the markets. But it depends on how you look at this. So let's take a look here. We're going to put the S&P up on the screen here first. Uh, we've got the S&P lower on the day by 31 points. Now, that the, what you see over here on the right, this most recent red blip, each day represents one day, going all the way back to almost a year. I like to see the full year when I look at something. And you can see that the red blip on the screen in extra super simple layman's terms is bigger than any other red blip going all the way back to August. We had some roughness here in August, beautiful fun summer days, I remember. And so look, the markets are down, the S&P's down, Dow's down, we'll go over all of that. But is it really a big deal? Look at the run we've had. Don't you kind of get excited about seeing the markets fall at you know a potential discount there? So moving on to the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ was actually supported today just a little bit, only lost just over a half a percent. Uh, the NASDAQ itself was down 64 points, really supported by Amazon, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, Facebook bucked the trend, Starbucks did well today. All these stocks kind of helped support the NASDAQ. Uh, a little bit, but unfortunately still red. Depends on how you look at it, actually. Let's talk about the Dow. The Dow, the worst performer of the day. You have a series of news events hitting Dow stocks, and unfortunately that was uh, pretty tough for the Dow. Same thing, look at the blip here, it, it, just to make it super simple. Big old red blip on the screen. How far do we have to go back before we've seen anything like that? You actually have to go off the charts. Here's a little day here. This was nasty, but you got to go all the way back prior to the going a year back, actually, to find anything interesting there. So look, uh, bad day so far. Let's go over some of the cool stuff that happened today. Some of the interesting things that you might want to focus on. Um, tonight will be the, uh, what is it? The President's State of the Union Address. So, uh, you know, might make for some interesting TV. A lot of people want to see if he'll stay on script and if he sort of is Mr. Nice Guy or Mr. Trump. So we'll see how it goes. Um, should be interesting tonight at 9 p.m. New York time. I want to move over to probably the main news for the day. Um, and, and here's where I want to kind of share with you there. Um, there will be no major news announcements between now and when the president gives his speech. Um, no company is going to try to compete with that sort of publicity. Uh, and a great example of that is Amazon today. Amazon Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan, all teaming up. Here's a chart of Amazon up one and a half percent on the day, making new highs. Why? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. If you were ever on the fence about Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, you've got to be on his side now. This guy is truly genius, and I don't really try to go one way or the other. I try to keep everything pretty neutral, make a decision from there. But listen to this. Amazon, Berkshire Hathaway, and JP Morgan, uh, they all announced early this morning before we all started talking about the, you know, the big president's uh, State of the Union address today. They came out, dominated headlines. Those three are getting together to rework the healthcare system. And they didn't say it that way, but that is their plans. And I bet you anything, that is what they're going to do. They said basically they're going to tackle healthcare costs starting with their own companies. All together, they employ over a million people. So they're going to work on healthcare costs try to get these costs down and simplify the healthcare system as a whole. Now, why these three companies? Remember, every time we talk about a news event, we wanna know what's the real deal? Like, why would these guys even bother with this? It's so brilliant. So I think everybody figured it out today. That's why Amazon was up and everything else was down. Amazon is moving towards um, the pharmaceutical drug space. They've actually filed for their drug license, I believe late last year. Um, they want to deliver drugs. They want to be able to get them for you, take prescriptions. They want to send them out to you. So Amazon is distribution. Just think of that for a second. Berkshire Hathaway. These people can do anything. When the stock market crashed in 2008 and home prices went to next to nothing, Berkshire Hathaway said, you know what? We're going to start a property management company. They went around and they bought up all of the, the uh, sort of defaulted homes for pennies on a dollar and they rented them all out. Very successful property management company and now I believe a real estate company too. 
So they know how to do things on a large scale, get a great discount, and there's no doubt they have the money behind them. Speaking of money, we have JP Morgan. So they're in on the mix. Why the heck would JP Morgan care anything about the healthcare markets? They're in the business of finance. Well, think about it. They've got enough money. They can structure deals if they decide to buy any of these other companies, healthcare companies, and turn them into like the Amazon of healthcare. And the CEO, he's been kind of hinting uh, maybe he might want to run for president one day. So what a platform for him to run on four or five years from now, or what is it, three years from now or whatever, if he decides to do it or even further in the next election. What a platform to say he's fixing healthcare doesn't that get a lot of people on your side right away, especially if they're saving money? Now, the Jamie Dimon, by the way, doesn't have a great history of uh, you know, public relations. He's a pretty tough dude. So that's it. So you've got distribution, operations, you've got money, oops, sorry, and a possible political motivation here. Very, very, very cool. I think it's gonna turn out to be something very interesting. Nonetheless, we'll stop rambling about that. Uh, Amazon up on the day. Berkshire Hathaway and JP Morgan actually down on the day with the financial stocks. So nothing really exciting to report there. Let's move on to Apple. We've been talking about Apple over the past couple days. Uh, JP Morgan came out last week and said, uh-oh, we think a Apple's going to cut their production of the iPhone 10, uh, iPhone X by um, 50%. Then yesterday, the Nikkei actually would be now two days from now ago. The Nikkei in Japan came out and said, we think Apple's going to cut their production by 50%. Well, wouldn't you know it, this morning we find out Apple's actually cutting their production to 20 million um, iPhone Xs versus the 40 million they were going to make. How did they guess that number so perfectly? Aren't these analysts just amazing? Well, that's their job. They do get some sort of inside knowledge as to what the company's planning to do. Um, nothing illegal about it. But the um, stock was actually trying to be higher on the day. It started the day lower, as you can see on the screen there. And typical Apple news is, uh, or typical Apple, Apple trading is buy on the news, sell, or no, buy the rumors, sell the news. Um, so a little bit backwards here today, um, in my opinion, I think Apple almost recovered. Had the market not had a bad day today, I think Apple would have recovered. Um, nonetheless, that's the deal. They're cutting the iPhone X. So shares did take a little bit of a hit. So if Amazon, JP Morgan, Berkshire Hathaway are going into the healthcare business, who do you think should be really worried? Well, if you haven't looked at it already, United Healthcare, that's one, lost 4.3% today. Cigna, another one, lost 4.3% today. United Pfizer and Merck. Uh, let me see. Is Merck on there? Yep. Merck also down on the day. That's part of the heavy weighting for the Dow today. That's why your Dow was a little out of control as far as pushing to the downside more than the other markets. You had the healthcare part of the Dow really sort of in worry mode as investors clearly took some money out of that and put it over there in old Amazon as they seem to have everything figured out. Um, let's take a look at a couple other things here before we wrap it up. Oil didn't really get talked about today. Oil down about 2%. What do you think oil helps? Now think about that. This is, I, I know some of you watching don't know a lot. You're learning. And I know some of you are probably very, very expert traders. So if the price of oil is down, wouldn't you expect that maybe some of the airlines would do well? Well, not really. Delta was up about a half a percent today. I think United had everybody beat. United was up about 2%. They've been hit hard. So these sort of things are uh, kicking back in, if you will. Uh, something to think about. Price of oil's down. What might benefit from that if you're a short-term trader? See how you might be able to make a, a profit off of that. Of course, no recommendations. And finally, let's go to win. Mentioned win yesterday uh, for you options traders being able to get 90% out of the money for about a buck and a quarter. Well, that turned out to work out quickly. Win swooped swooped, swept back about 5% today. Look, this, the problems aren't over. I agree there. That That's a whole personal thing there. But does it affect the company? Remember yesterday in our video, we talked about win as a company. Does the casino close its doors because the main guy couldn't keep it in his drawers? Ha! You like that? I just thought of that. Um, so look, that's that's what it is. I don't mean to make fun of that situation, but um, the stock's going to do just fine. They're going to be all right. Everything seems to be going well with them. And we just found that out because of earnings. Okay, I'm wrapping this up now. I'll leave you with Apple. They're going to report earnings on Thursday. It will be on Thursday. Yep. And so what's going to happen there is we're going to get our first look at the actual demand for the iPhone X. So expect Apple to be highly volatile as that news announcement comes out. 
I hope you enjoyed. There's a lot going on today. I really, really could have covered a whole lot more stuff, uh, but I don't have all day and you guys don't have all day either. So we'll get to it tomorrow and the next day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like retirement investing videos, uh, anything like that, be sure to watch the two videos that are coming up on the screen here in a moment. And for those of you that want to stick around, I'm going to share a quick story with you. So I've been trying to think of a way, you know, if you don't know, I'm with Jazz Wealth. We work with retirement accounts um, in different investments. We help you with your personal finances, things like that. And I've been sort of trying to find a unique way to um, communicate with the clients, both incoming that are new, existing clients. I want everybody to feel like I'm only focused on them. And I really, really try hard with that. I think you might find reviews and, and sort of things that people agree with that. Um, here's the thing. I'm struggling with one way that I want to go, how I want to handle this sort of flow of new new contacts and new clients and everything. Well, we have a company softball team and Monday nights we play softball. I'll take a picture sometime and, and share it with you. But so last night, of course, best game ever, right? I'm playing great. Everything's cool. I'm rounding second, running to third, and I'm looking in the eyes of the third baseman. I can see that he's looking for the ball. He's not bluffing. He's focused on the ball coming towards him. So I figure I better slide. I slide into third base, ball hits me right in the head, right here. Can you, is it a little swollen right here? I mean, it hurts like hell. Ball hits me in the head. And I mean, I for like two seconds, I had no idea where I was. <laughs> but in that very moment that the ball hit my head, I thought of exactly how I wanna handle all of the incoming clients, the new clients, the account transfers, people funding their accounts, all the stuff we have to do in the background here at Jazz Wealth it hit me and I didn't think about it. It just popped into my head and I got up and I go, that's it. And the third base coach was standing there and he goes, y you okay? <laughs> I go, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Let's, I shook it off. That's good. He goes, well, what's it? And I'm like, oh, sorry. I was, I was thinking of something. It just hit me. And he goes, what were you thinking of? I'm like, nah, it's a, a business thing. Don't worry about it. And uh, he goes, do you know where you're at? <laughs> like, it was so funny to him that I got hit by a ball and then I go, that's it. And I had this brain, you know, this great idea. Anyways, just thought I'd share that with you. Hey, take a look at these two videos that you see on the screen. If you're interested in any retirement um, help, whether it's personal finance, long-term retirement investments, you want someone to manage those retirement investments for you. We are here, we are growing and we're happy, happy to help you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.